Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And what I have for you here is a nice, interesting problem. And the objective here is to solve for the variables x and y. So you can see here we have an x right here and we have a y right here. Now I'm not gonna uh, tell you too much uh, about the problem at this stage because I wanna give you a full opportunity for you to solve this all on your own. So if you can solve for these two variables, Go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to solve this particular, um, uh, well, it is an equation, but to um, find the values for these variables. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the answers here. Again, we're looking for the values of these two variables, specifically x and y. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. So x is what? Well, x is equal to a negative 27 and y is equal to eight. So this is the answer. So if you got that right, that is outstanding. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that indeed you understand some basic stuff about matrices and basic linear equations, right? So that's very, very good. So that's why they really want to tell you what we are dealing with uh, uh, at the start of this problem. But let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, if you weren't sure what, well, first of all, let's just kind of take a, uh, you know, a big view of what's going on here in terms of mathematics. Anytime you see this symbol, that's an equal symbol right there, right? What does that mean? Well, you're dealing with some sort of equation, all right? So that's what this means. And in mathematics, we have an equation. In other words, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Now you can have all sorts of different type of equations in mathematics, but in this particular uh, problem, what type of uh, expressions do we have on the left and right hand side of the equation, okay? Well, what we're dealing with here are matrices, all right? So these little bars like this indicate a matrix. So if you weren't quite sure what this uh, is, uh, that's basically what a matrix looks like. Now here, this happens to be a two row, okay, these are our rows right here, and this right here is a column. So this is a, uh, and you describe a matrix by row and column. So what we're dealing with here is a two by one um, uh, matrices, all right? That's the plural of a matrix. So here we have one over here, and one over here, and then we have these entries inside uh, these um, uh, particular matrices, right? So what is a matrix? Just a real quick, uh, kind of definition, a, uh, a, a matrix is nothing more than a way to organize information by rows and columns. That's it. Very, very simple. So can you think of an example of how you uh, organize information by rows and columns? Well, absolutely. Uh, any sort of table, right, that you have, maybe you have something, you know, that you use for work or you, uh, any kind of reference or whatnot. Anytime you have a table where you have columns and you have rows right here. This is an example of a, uh, of a matrix, right? For those of you that are familiar with um, various software programs like Microsoft Excel spreadsheet programs or databases, we are talking about matrices. Now there's a fancy computer word called an array, basically the same thing, but this is what this is. This is a very, very important topic in mathematics and uh, in computer science as well. Okay, so anyways, I don't want to go off on too many tangents. I have to stop myself uh, sometimes. But anyways, so we are dealing with two matrices. We have one matrix equal to another matrix. So how are we going to get at this particular problem? Well, if these two matrices are equal to one another and they have the same dimension, then what we're saying is that the entries here are the same. So if this is four, and what's the location of this matrix here? Where this is row, what we call row one, column one, so row one, column one is four, and right here we have row one, column one, it's y over two, okay? But if we're saying 
these are the same, well then if this is 4, then this must be 4. So we can figure out what y is by creating an equation. That's what we're going to be doing here in just one second. And then down here we have negative x over 3, and we're going to equate that uh, to 9, okay, because these uh, uh, are in the same position in terms of these matrices, right? We're dealing with row 2, column 1, and here we have row 2, column 1. Now, uh, when you uh, uh, are introduced to matrices, okay, you uh, typically don't, you know, usually like at the pre-algebra, maybe algebra 1 level, you kind of introduce what a matrix is and maybe how to add matrices. Then you get into more interesting stuff like how to multiply matrices and find um, the determinant, etc. By the way, if you are studying matrices and you need more help with it, check out like my Algebra 1, no, no, my Algebra 2 course, all right? I'll teach you everything you need to know. And if you really want to get some advanced stuff on matrices, check out my pre-calculus course. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. All we need to do is create an equation here uh, for these respective entries. So we're going to say, all right, well, 4, you must be equal to uh, y over 2. So we'll just create an equation here. So we'll write it this way. We'll have put the variable on the left-hand side, y, y over 2, uh, or y, you know, y divided by 2, same thing, is equal to 4. And then here we have negative x over 3, and we'll equate that to 9. So we have negative x over 3 is equal to 9. And all we have to do now is solve these respective equations, really basic algebra here. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video and see if you can solve these equations anytime, uh, my suggestion is this. You watch my videos any way you want to watch them, right? First of all, if you're even watching these videos, now first I want to thank you very much. Hopefully you're getting some value out of it. But let me give you a, a suggestion if you want to really max out my videos or any math video. Anytime you think you know, like you see the solution in play and you're like, oh, okay, I know how to finish the problem. Do yourself a favor, pause the video, take out a piece of paper and pencil and see if you can finish the problem out because uh, you really kind of uh, kind of check your understanding. Okay, don't, uh, there's a big difference and sometimes it can be deceiving by watching someone do math. I know this from decades and decades of studying math and teaching math. It's uh, kind of deceiving. You can sit there and watch someone do mathematics and you might say, oh, I understand. Your brain's like, I understand what they're doing. Yes, 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 that makes sense to me. But if you actually had to do this on your piece of paper, you would be lost, right? So don't uh, think that watching and understanding in mathematics is the same as actually uh, applying what you have in your brain to an actual problem, right? So if you really want to improve, you know, there's no other way uh, uh, than, you know, you can improve in math is by actually doing math prompts. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve these two basic linear equations. We'll start off with this one here y over 2 is equal to 4. So right here, I'm using this uh, kind of slanted fraction bar, but we'll make it a little bit more explicit. We'll write this way, y over 2 is equal to 4. So all its different type of ways you can solve this problem. If I could uh, think of uh, 4 as 4 over 1, I can have a nice proportion here, or I can just say, all right, y over 2 is equal to 4. I could just multiply 2 by both sides of the equation to get uh, y, or 1y, right? So y is going to e, uh, equal to 8. Now, if you don't understand this right here, then you are in dire need of basic uh, equations. No big deal. Don't panic, all right? Anytime you don't understand something in math, what you need to do is have your little shopping list, all right? Just like you go to the store and you're like, I need potato chips and uh, you know, snacks and whatever the case is, you might need to pick up some other skills when it comes to math. You're like, oh, I don't understand this. I need to understand the linear equations and maybe positive, negative numbers, whatever the case is. Write yourself a little list and review because you're not going to get better just all on, uh, you know, by yourself, right? So this is one approach. As long as you got y is equal to 8 uh, for this particular equation, then you are good to go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, last equation. We have negative x over 3 is equal to 9. I'll write, the, I'll write this this way. Okay, of course, we have the slanted fraction bar. No big deal. We have negative x over 3 with the nice uh, horizontal fraction bar here is equal to 9. So to solve for x, I can just simply multiply both sides of the equation by negative 3 as I have um, kind of already kind of pre-did this right here. So uh, negative times negative, of course, is positive. So I'm going to get a positive x. 
and 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. Okay, so obviously we ended up with the answers y is equal to 8 and x is equal to negative 27. So not too difficult of a problem. Hopefully most of you out there were able to get this right. We're kind of talking basic algebra here, but listen, nothing is basic uh, to you if you never learned it or if you don't understand it, okay? So uh, again, what you want to do is work to improve what you don't know, right? If you don't know something, it's not just going to get better all, and all on its own, okay? So if you need help with matrices, again, check out like my Algebra 2 course or with basic Learn your equations. You might want to check out like my pre-algebra course. If you need something even more basic than that, check out my math foundation course. And hopefully um, you do check out the, oh, I think I'm close to 2,000 videos on my uh, YouTube channel, which has taken me a good 10 years to post. But anyways, I am constantly uh, posting videos because I just love teaching math. And hopefully you're gaining uh, uh, some math skills getting better at math uh, via my videos. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.